Okay, here we are again. Back at it. I gotta be honest, I hate the way that my schedule has to work. Had to work in the spring semester and has to work in the summer semester. Like, I wish that there was a way that I could play these games during the week. Because playing them Friday, Saturday, Sunday, bang, 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 three days in a row just makes me want to kill something. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. It's fine, but like... I just, I feel so off when I come back on Fridays, because then it's like, I haven't done this in days, and it's like, no, I, I want to spread it out, so I'm not just like four days off, three days on, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know, I just don't like the way that the schedule works, and I'm, I might try next week to just play on, I can't play it on a Monday or a Wednesday, because on a Monday or a Wednesday, that's the night before I have to go to a lab, and I need to write a lab report before I go to the lab, and that takes a while, so I can't reasonably afford to stream because I don't want to... I want to do the lab report the night before so I'm fresh and it's in my mind for what I'm doing in the lab the next day. So I don't want to do it on Monday or Wednesday because Tuesday and Thursday are the labs. Uh, I don't want to do it on Thursdays because that's usually when my family goes out during the summer for food. So I don't want to do it then. Excuse me. Uh, so that would leave me with Sundays, Tuesdays... Fridays and Saturdays only as the days to do it. And I'm going to probably next week try my absolute damnedest to stream on Tuesday. I have no waking idea if it's going to work because it's hot and gross outside all the time right now. And that means I cannot sleep at night. So I'm getting up at 6.30 in the morning. And on a Tuesday, that would mean I'd be getting up at 6.30 in the morning, going to a class that quite honestly doesn't interest me in the slightest I, I can guarantee you all most of this sorry i just bumped the mic stand i can guarantee you most of this chemistry general chemistry stuff will be purged from my mind by the time i'm done with this nutrition degree <laughs> so i have to go to that do the lecture do the lab do the lecture for two hours do the lab for three hours come home and then i have a couple of hours to probably take a nap and then i can stream and I just, I don't foresee it working very well. I feel like it will be very scuffed. But it will probably make me feel better about the schedule for the week if I'm able to do it. So I might give it a shot anyway and just see how it works. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work that way. And honestly, it's like, if it doesn't work out and I have to do this three days a week, four days off, three days on... I mean, I'll do it for the rest of the summer if I have to, because the thing about it is that when I go back to school, actually, as long as I get into the class I want to get into, because I'm not allowed into it until I pass this chemistry class in the summer, because circumstances beyond my control, if I get into the correct one, I should be able to stream on Monday and Wednesday nights, because Tuesday and Thursdays, I don't go into class until the afternoon, if I do it the right way, so... That should work out okay, but uh, either way, yeah, so next week we might be trying for Tuesday. I don't I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if I'll have the energy or the drive or the motivation whatsoever <laughs> because I'm trapped in a dark room for six hours a goddamn day, two days a week, and then three hours a day the other two days a week. So it's three, six, three, six, four days in a row. So I don't know if I have the energy, but... In case it wasn't clear, today I was off from doing all of that stuff, and that means I have a little bit more energy. And that's good, because we're going to be doing a lot of running today, considering the fact that we beat the main game content last time, and now we have invasion levels to do. I'd like to try to get them done if I can, because I have a plan, you see, and I don't know if it'll work out, but we're going to see if it'll work out. I don't think so, because looking at the numbers here, I don't think the numbers quite add up, but we'll see in a moment. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Rayman Legends, the stream edition. Last time, we beat the last levels of the main Legends content of the game, aside from Living Dead Party, which you need to unlock at 400 teensies. And I'm just going to do some math here. So we have 90. I'm going to do the 83 and the 77. Well, actually, that's just 80 and 80. So we have 90 plus 80 plus 70, plus 80, plus 90, excuse me, um, and that's, let's see, if it was five 90s, it would be 450, 
But you take 10, 20, 30, 40 off. So there's 410 teensies just within these levels. Now we need 45 more in order to unlock Living Dead Party. And I would like to do the first, what, what it is, Living Dead Party has seven levels in it. They're all uh, three teensy stages, but it's seven levels. And I'd like to unlock the, um, I'd like to unlock it and do the first level before we do any of the Back to Origins content, if possible, because the Back to Origins content, I believe, has five worlds, if I remember correctly. We can go look right now. Um, and if we do the five worlds, what we can do is we can kind of just like do one of the worlds and then come back and do one of the stages in Living Dead Party, then do one of the worlds, come back, do one of the worlds, come back. And it should all work out pretty nicely. We don't even have Mystica Peak unlocked yet, though, so that's a thing to think about. One, two, three, four, and five. Yep, so it is how I said it was, and I feel like that would work out pretty nicely, but we'll see if it works out that way. If it doesn't, I mean, we'll go back and we'll do back to Origins levels. That's fine, but, like, I would prefer to do it the other way if possible, but, you know, sometimes that just doesn't really work out. So. We'll see if it does. I'm just going to collect up my prizes while I'm here real quick, because why not? Probably get a few more of these today. I don't think we're going to get as many lucky tickets today as we have been, because the invasion levels don't give you any, so I'm... Not entirely convinced that we will uh, be able to do a whole lot with that, but we'll we'll see what we can do. Let's just start back from here, and we'll see which invasion levels we have not done. And it looks like there's a few available. We already did this one. We did not do this one, though. And I'm just going to double check. I don't know if the uh, the rescue levels have invasions. This one doesn't seem to, so... I'll just double check the doors when we're on our way through, just in case it happens, but, you know, I'm not suspecting it will. This is not a Dark Rayman stage, so we will see what the Dark Rayman stage is uh, in the next one. This one's just the same as it has been, so we'll just try to speedrun it and see what we get out of the whole thing. So. Okay. Gotta remember to use my uh, that to speed up a little bit, if possible, because speeding up with this, uh, well, it lets me avoid having to fight the enemies like that. That works too. There we go. Oh god. Might lose one. Nope, never mind. I thought the level was gonna be longer than that. Okay. <laughs> it's a good start. Fair enough. Uh, we got three out of it right out the gate. That's good. That will add three more to our total, and now we only need another 42 in order to uh, unlock Living Dead Party without any trouble. Again, I don't know if that's going to be possible, because I'm not sure if we've missed too many in the levels themselves. And we'll probably miss a few in the invasion levels anyway, but we'll see. Alright, Dark Rayman level. Let's see what happens here. If I remember correctly, he does what you do. Yeah, and he hits you if you, uh... It's basically exactly the same as the, uh, the Dark Mario stuff, so... Oh. Where, wait, where the hell am I going? Oh, I see. Can you, uh, squish Dark Rayman for me? That would be nice. Oh, I see. Okay, this level's tricky. Kill these guys in order to get through this part. So. Oh, I, I get the feeling this one's gonna be a, a wash, but you know, oh my god, okay, yeah, definitely a wash when I do that. Alright, but I think we've got a better idea about what this level entails now. We can say, okay, so just kill these guys and you'll uh, be able to run through the level faster. I got clipped. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Alright, we'll do that. Got this first part down pretty good, just not this part. That's a little... Yeah, I gotta keep moving. All right. Uh, maybe if I go against the left wall, it's gonna be slow, but if I go against the left wall, I can maybe, like, jump over, wall jump over. 
I can bounce on this guy, then I can, like, do that. And do that. And it's slightly slower, but, I mean, you know, it is what it is. That was pretty good, actually. Got a lot of, uh, got a lot of jump height off of that one. Oop, I hit a spike. Alright, so we're definitely gonna have to do a slam there in order to get to that guy without the wind pushing me off. So. Yeah, definitely use my... Oh, I don't know where my momentum went there, but that's fine. We'll just use it. It's good. It's all good. Just use the momentum again. Push off. Get all that momentum there. Why couldn't I have that happen every time I jump off a wall? Okay, oh god. Alright, so... That's a tough part, because, like... You gotta watch, because if you... Uh, get, if you go up, straight up, from bouncing off that guy, you're gonna hit Dark Rayman. But... If you don't... You're gonna hit the spike. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Slow him down a little bit by doing it that way. There we go. I mean, maybe I could just drop, honestly. Like, nope. Okay, because he'll just end up on the shield where I dropped at anyway. So, yeah, this is tough. I have to figure that part out. It's tough because that's like most of the way through the level, so like I can't really practice it very reasonably without just redoing all. I mean, I'll get good at this stuff, but this stuff is like, okay, you know, I got this stuff down. There's no no wind currents to stop me in this one. You know what that might be, actually, is it might be I'm getting a boost off of that wall uh, just immediately. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a strong... That's a strong wind current. I can't even jump there. So no jump. You have to fall, and you have to... I'm probably going to have to spike and then immediately, like, try to go off of a wall or something, because it's not going to work otherwise. No, it wasn't an immediate. I thought it was like, okay, well, just hit the wall and immediately press wall jump, and that'll get you the boost one. But it might be. It might have to do with my dash. Uh, the fact that I dash, like, right out of this. Like that. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's from the dash. So. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> it's a little wonky, but hey, it's fine. How do I even get to you? I guess like that, but... That was slow as hell. I didn't get to practice that one at all. I'm gonna retry that one because, like, we spent, <laughs> like, a solid 12 seconds just staring at a wall trying to figure out, how the hell do I get over this? Oh, okay. But that's fine. I mean, these are the toughest ones, honestly. Like, it's not surprising that this one's gonna take a little while. Like, the other one gave us a good start, but you can do that one during the main game. This one you can't do unless you're in the end game, so. Alright, so the way we did this before was I kind of went off this wall. Okay. I can't do it that way. I have to I have to go off that wall after the fact. Like, I have to kind of delay me going off the wall until he's over top of me. And now I'm messing up the early parts. Uh, but if I if I go off the wall the right way, it should be easier to, uh, get that to work. Alright. So far, so good. A little slow on those, but that's fine. A little slow on that too, but we can make up for it later. Okay, and just flap my arms like that, and that'll work. Right, now I just need to figure this part out. Okay. So one of them's gone, but that's fine. So I see. <laughs> 
it's it's a problem though because like what do I oh no you know what that's a sloped wall I just I just realized that it's a sloped wall so I can just run right up that I'm, I'm thinking I gotta like wall jump off it I'm like this is the weirdest wall jump I've ever been asked to do and then it's like oh no that's a sloped wall so if I just get there fast enough I should be able to like I don't know if that's gonna get me there fast enough but that and that's probably why I'm getting so much momentum off of that because that's a sloped wall just like before Go up, go straight in, those, nope, that's not going to work. I had to come down on that guy's head or else it was not going to work, and I did not come down on his head, so it's not going to work. But now that I'm seeing all the slope walls, that should be a little bit easier, like... This is what I mean, though, is that I get I get back to it after four days of being away from it, and I'm rusty as hell. Like, I'm like, oh, where's... I don't recognize this as a sloped wall. I don't recognize this mechanic as this mechanic. And it just... It doesn't work, and I hate it. So... But it is what it is, you know. It's, it's the way the schedule has to work, unfortunately. For now. And I will do my best to not have it be that way, but... Yeah. Alright, that should be a bit. Go. Oh, that's a sloped wall. Hang on. There. Yeah. Gotta, gotta shake the rust off just a little bit from the four days away, but we will uh, do the best we can. I got two. I'm happy with two. Especially with a tough level like that. Like, I, I'm already kind of looking at it and saying, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to, like, get to 400 before we get through all the invasion levels, or even at the very end of doing all the invasion levels. Because we did miss a few in the process of, like, a few teensies in the process of doing the regular levels. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to, between those and the invasion levels, only miss 10. But we'll see. It might happen. Oh, that's fire. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, definitely not that. That's definitely not what we're supposed to be thinking. Oh, okay, it's right behind me, but... Nope, that's that's incorrect. This is correct. Did I just go off? Okay, that's fine. I can just do that. Probably not the fastest way, but I can just do that. So. Off we go. Take your dust mites for a walk. I don't know what that's all about, but sure, why not? Murphy's not here to screw me over, so... Oh my god. Uh, don't know what that's going to be about either. I shouldn't have uh, projected there. I should not have attacked, because I might have barely been able to get underneath those guys if I did not attack, so... Felt a little slow, but it is what it is. I probably could go over top of that with the spikes, but I'm just gonna keep doing this. Okay, I need to jump a little earlier if I do that, or just project myself out because if I uh, if I use the melee attack while running, it'll get me a little ahead of them. So I can use it to get up to top speed and give myself a little burst to stay ahead of them. So. So we've established that I don't need to do a little thing there. Just go underneath here. Oh my god, fire stick. Uh, that's not a good idea. And that's why. I think that guy's bait. I don't think I need to hit him. I think he's just kind of there to be like, Hey, so uh, you want to jump on this enemy's head? Fine. Fuck you. And then just kills you in the process, because they're like, you shouldn't hit people that are just randomly standing in the way. That's not very nice of you. Well, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> when has that ever been a problem before? Not until right now. Okay, I gotta go up here. Probably could have skipped a little bit of time by doing this the right way. Am I gonna have to go around these guys? Oh my lord. Okay. Well. It was a little slow, but I'll take it. 
We're always missing it by just a little bit. Like, there's just a few little things that we could probably do to just clean it up, and that would get us to where we need to go, but... Eh, I don't feel like cleaning it up. I'll feel like cleaning it up a little bit more if it's like, oh, you're at 395 or something like that by the time I'm done with all these invasion levels. But the more that I go through them, the more I'm kind of like, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we're not going to quite get to that 400 amount before we're done. There's, I don't think there's that many left. We might get to like 380, honestly. But if that's the case, then we'll just go do a couple of Back to Origins levels and then we'll come back. And then the first level of uh, Living Dead Party will be unlocked at that point, so... Dark Rayman. I forget if there's just one Dark Rayman in every level or what the case is with that one, but that's okay. Alright. Where the hell am I? Here I am. Now where the hell am I going? Oh, I'm going over here. Excuse me, fellas. Oh, that was a good time save. Oh, God. I thought I could, like... Shoot the gap there. Could not quite. That's okay though. Can shoot the gap here though. Okay. Just go in behind the fireballs. Go past these guys. Fall at mock speed. Bye. Oh god. Can't fall at mock speed there. Okay. So when I get down to that point, I'm gonna have to start jumping off of enemies' heads because uh, if I don't, I'm gonna hit the fire stick. It's no longer a vertical descent level. Didn't have to hit that guy. It's a little slow. Just trying to figure out if that boiling sound is like in the music or if it's me. No, it's in the music. I'm just hearing it and I'm like, wait a minute. I guess it's kind of slow jumping off that guy's head too. I need to commit. That jump needs to be committed to because if I keep like wavering like I was doing there, I'm going to end up getting hit every time. So, like, I need to do exactly what I did with that that little six section there, where I just, I go past them, or I go in front of them. I need to do one or the other, but not hesitate, because if I do either one, I'm gonna get hit like that, so. Alright, do one of these, a little slow, but that's fine. Just commit. You didn't spit this time, good. Not quite at the point yet. I can go off of that guy. Commit there. Oh god. Almost didn't commit correctly. Alright, here we gotta go off these after you guys. Okay. So there's one, two, and then I gotta hit the guy in midair. Okay, wait on that one a little bit. Just gotta be gentle with it. Okay. Okay. I hesitated again, but this time I wasn't punished for it until I got further down. But he who hesitates is lost. So we gotta take that mantra to heart. Or we are stuck. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. 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 We're fine. We're fine. Somewhat. I'll go off that guy. It'll give me a chance to commit there. Thanks, fellas. Sorry, gonna need your height real quick. Okay, that works. I was gonna say, now where the hell am I going? But there's a there's a wind path underneath me there, so I can just use that. Okay. I'm glad that fire stick goes so far to the side there, because otherwise I would have definitely hit it like multiple times in the process of doing this. So, I right, commit. I'm gonna spit. Thanks. Use your height. Oh my god. Okay. I should have hovered ever so slightly a little bit more and I would have been fine, but sometimes it's just those few pixels and that makes all the difference, you know. So, okay. Gotta watch his fireball. I'm near missing these fire sticks like crazy here. <laughs> Thank you for spitting. You'll never hear anyone say that ever again. Because that is gross. You get the hell out now. How do I do this? Okay. Okay. Okay, oh god, okay. I, I think I may have to just like, again, I may just have to commit in that part because I don't think hesitating there is gonna, I mean, it's obviously not gonna save me any time, so. And my time is precious here because my time is the reason why the other teensies will live or die. 
immediately dying, or is it just kind of a... Like, what happens in the dream world if you die? Is it is it like in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, where if you die in the dream, you die in real life? Or is it like something else? Ooh, that was nice. I'll hesitate here after that. I shouldn't have. It's right there. <laughs> and there's still an air pocket right there. So I just need to do that again. Just go low. And then just commit all the way down. Because if I commit low all the way down, and then I just hold the glide button down, after I'm past all the fireballs, we're, we're perfect. Like, it's, that's it. So... That was almost very bad. <laughs> Alright, just go slow here. <sighs> nice throw! Okay, okay. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, I see. I can I can go in the water and not get punished for it. Alright, that's fine. That's a big victory. That that feels good, because that one was like, nope, I got this unlock. Like it's just it's the downward levels. Those ones are fine for me because I can just kind of like let it go, you know, They'll just drop. Because then it's like, okay, there's a thing here, so don't go here. There's a thing here, so don't go here. Otherwise, it's like, okay, well, I don't know. Dark Rayman level. Alright, let's see what we can do. Uh, that's not a wind current. <laughs> I was thinking I could just... Uh, Jump directly into that, but I mean, I don't know what I'm thinking this is. We don't got high jump. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just barely not able to hit that. All right. Well, I'm gonna try it again anyway because I have no chill. There we go. Okay. I think it's because the wall is slightly uh, farther away than I think it is. Oh, wait, hang on, I think I see it. Is this gonna give me enough fight? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Forgot those bounce. It's gonna just commit to going in that direction, but obviously that's not gonna work. Okay. One man train! That's not that's not what I'm looking for, but. Yeah, see, this wall is, like, further out than I think it actually is. So, I gotta just, like, press. I'm, I start, what happens is I start pressing in a different direction, thinking that I won't make it. So I just need to, like, press against it and hope for the best. Okay, that'll give me a little bit of extra. Slow, but... I could probably go underneath that, honestly. Just completely skip past you. Hey, uh, Dark Ray, you want to give me a little boost? Just a thought there, friend. You'd be a lot more useful if you could. Alright, there we go. Get those go underneath this ball. You, you really gotta, like... <laughs> You really gotta press for that one. Where the hell am I going? Oh, I see. Oh, how am I supposed to see that? My my vision is not going up in the corner of the screen there. I, I think if I could have, um, like, known what I was doing there a little bit, like, beforehand, I think I would have been better. So, like, I did it again where I, like, started pressing the control. Really? Started pressing the control stick too early, and now I'm. This is just. This is just bad. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> yeah, got. Yeah, gotta hit it, or else it's not going to work. No, maybe I could jump off that guy's head actually. But I mean, I'm already here, so why? Why try something else? What? What worked before worked again, but this time. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm alive. Okay, it's fine. We're fine. Yeah, you really gotta force the jump button down there. Oh god. Doing those. There we go. See, now... You can just do that. You can spit right back out. And that's a Dark Rayman level with all three guys rescued. That one wasn't too bad either, actually. But we're working our way up, slowly but surely. Man, we missed two in that Toad Story level? Holy hell. I should have been more uh, thorough with some of these, because then I would have been able to not have to, like... 
Now I have to do so many invasion levels. All right, so there's that one. I'm just going to check in each of these doors just in case. I don't think there's any invasion levels in the rescues, but like I said, just in case. So, Excuse me. And, I mean, it's like I said, it's not a huge deal if we... That's not what I wanted to do. Um, it's not a huge deal if we uh, have to go do a Back to Origins level or two in order to uh, get the, enough to unlock Living Dead Party, but I would have preferred not to. Boy, thank you. Going low again. My secret technique. I was going to say, I might be able to get through that gap. Like, I might be able to shoot that gap if I, uh, if I go, uh, if I use a melee attack. Uh, that's not going to work. I didn't want to drop, because I would have dropped if I would have pressed a downward attack there to get past that one. But definitely, definitely doing one of those. going to play with death here. Okay. That works. Oh, it flew up in my face. That's unfortunate. This never happens to me. <laughs> Alright, get rid of you. Okay, going under. Going over. Uh, going under again. Oh my god. Okay. I was slow, but safe, so... Oh my god, at least there's that. You get the hell out of here. I needed to hold down the button. I was thinking I was going to land and just attack him, but I did not do so, and that did not work out for me. Okay, well, we got this part down pretty good. I'm going to do that and go like that. You. Oh my god. Okay, I got a little overzealous there. <laughs> I thought I had pulled off the jump button enough to do just a short hop, but apparently not, so. I need to think I'm playing as the shortest character in the game, and I'm using my height to my advantage. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm just gonna stop. It's, again, it's slow, but it's safe, so. Ooh, maybe I can okay, float right over. Yep, because there's still an air current here. You get up out, and I'm just gonna go right up over. I don't know what's here, but I'm gonna go right up over. Oh my god, okay. All right, we're getting, we're getting a little crazy here at the at the very end. Just, just gonna say that, but hey, we made it. Look at that. That's another big win. I'll take it. 29 more. I'm at the eighth level of awesomeness, apparently, from getting all of the ones that I've gotten. But that's it for Toad Story, so there's only three more sections to go, and I think we've already done a couple of invasions in the other places, so we'll see how many are left. We'll go from there. I mean, I'm kind of happy with where our teensy totals are anyway for those two levels. Like, I mean, that's only like four or five missed per level, so not really. That's, that's pretty good. I'm pretty enthusiastic about that. Oh, wow, four four whole in invasion levels for me to, to take from. So that's potentially uh, 383 we'd end up with by the time we're done with this third section. So, Of course, the invasion levels, I think, started showing up in that fourth world. So I don't know how well that's going to work. But, you know. oh, okay, I see. I see what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> I'm like, wait, where do I go? What do I do? Follow this guy, evidently. Okay. Wait for the fire. Get out my way over. Up I go. Okay. So far, so good, I guess. Just keep moving. We'll just keep moving. I see what you're putting down. Okay, so I have to, I have to like, not wait that out. I don't think I have to wait that out, but like, I can't go as fast unless I want to play with fire again. <laughs> Which, I mean, you know. Oh, I, I did that wrong. The last time I did it perfectly, where I like touched the wall just barely and managed to wall jump off of it. That was great, but this time not so much. So we'll try that one again. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. Oof, oof. Uh, definitely uh, playing with it there, but that's okay. 
I don't know where the hitbox starts on that fire, to be honest. Maybe it doesn't start quite where I think it starts. Because I've gotten pretty damn close to those fireballs and not gotten hit for it, so... Like, yeah, that's pretty damn close and still not getting hit, so... Eh, there we go. That's what I wanted the first time. Just gonna go this way. Oh my god. You have no idea the amount of Ajira that gives me. <laughs> but I'm just... Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot I hit that too high. I should have gone off the wall. I could probably have gone... Uh, if I had wall jumped, I probably could have been safe from him hitting that high where I hit it. Okay, you know what? That works. I'll take that. But I gotta hit it low or else... Okay, not there. I don't gotta hit that low. I do have to hit low on the rest of these, a lot of the rest of these vines, so he doesn't end up, like, right in my hitbox as I'm slowly going up it, you know, going up the slope like that. I'm hitting too high, so. And there's also the fact that when I do a thing to try to get out in front of him, it's, uh kind of screwing me over a little bit because then he tries to get out in front of me and he gets a big burst of speed in the process, which is not so good. But, you know. I'm just gonna jump there. Uh, okay. Go off the wall. There we go. So that worked a lot better because now I can... If I go off the wall there, I can kind of just... Uh... <laughs> Just gonna stand there for a second. There we go. Just, just drop everything. Stop thinking. No more thinking. Just stop. <laughs> but yeah, if I go off the wall there, he can land at the bottom of that thing, and he won't hit me because I slide straight down into him. You know. So that helps a little bit. Add to my total. We're at almost 100,000 looms now, which is good. Keep this up. Be in good shape. Going to the left again. No Dark Rayman this time. Pardon me. I'm just gonna, just gonna walk right past you. Because quite frankly, I don't need to do anything to you. Uh, you know, to continue through the Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Sure. I don't know what good that does me, but I'll take it. Oh my god. I say, hit it quick! Go feather dust somewhere else. I wasn't sure where the... Okay. I wasn't sure where the end would have been there. I might have been able to, like, if I had done a melee attack, I might have been able to go over that. Not sure if that was real necessary, but I'll take it. Oh, I see the problem here. It's because I'm, I'm supposed to be going this way. Quickly! Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't super kick enough. That's okay. Not used to the tiny mechanics again. Gotta get used to the tiny mechanics again for this specific level. But that's fine. Uh, okay. You know what? That works. What happened there? I thought I super kicked. Maybe I pressed it too late. Oh well. Okay, well, that's a little slow, but you know what? It's fine. Let's see what this upper path looks like. Okay. I mean, I feel like I'm going a little slow, but. Definitely didn't need to jump there, though. But it is what it is. Let's go straight down. I... Okay. <laughs> Won't see that tech very often, either. <laughs> Do a little slide. <laughs> All the swords are coming for me. That slide was so cool. <laughs> I know, after all that, we didn't get the third one, but that slide was so cool. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, because I knew if I said something, I would have gotten immediately punished for doing it, but 
That slide was so cool. <laughs> I'm so cool. Okay, uh, this one. I'm just gonna check in here as well. Something tells me nah, but nah, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so you, and then this one. And then that's it for the mariachi levels. All right. Do this one, we're running to the right again. Someone has decided to mow their lawn at 7.45 at night. Oh, it's one of these, okay. Ow. You just, you just had to fall in such a way that I couldn't do a jump attack and just land in your head, huh? That's great, thanks, man. I'll, I'll do it slower, I guess. Oh, jump too early. Okay. I'm actually not even sure how much of that will get picked up by the mic now that I think about it, though, because, like, it's far enough away to where it might not. Oh my god. You got me! Didn't see that one coming because it wasn't even on my screen until it was far too late. So, do that a little slow, but that's fine. Ooh, make it, make it, make it. We made it. Got all three. I, I looked at the timer just as I was coming down. I'm like, wait a minute, we might do this. That works. There was some parts there that were a little slow, but we made it nonetheless, so it doesn't matter. All right, Lucha Libre getaway invasion level. See what it has. All right, more of this. Oh my god. Okay, so that not a good idea. I can let them through. Are they gone? No. I think I see what I'm supposed to do, though. I think I'm supposed to like let them through and then like jump over here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I could probably make a path for myself if I just do that, but... Oh my god. Okay, definitely not making it under there. <laughs> I thought I could, but then, well, the rest happened and... Oop, I touched the tip. Not again. Alright, let them in. Jump over their heads. I'm just gonna jump this way. It doesn't look like that works too well, though, because I don't have enough speed, probably. Well, come along. If you're not gonna, I'm just gonna go past you. Yeah, exactly like that. That works. I still can't believe that's working. Like, I'm getting that on, like, the, the frame. I forgot again. That second uh, boxing glove punch. I'm getting it on, like, the second frame, and that's the only way that it's... Like, the frame right before, basically. Right there. And, see, I did it late there, so... It didn't work so well. I probably could go, like, straight up. I probably could go off of that enemy if I jumped there. And that would make this a little bit easier. Like just go here. And then go up and over. Do that. Oh my god, they're still trying to get me. Alright. There's that. Just keep this up. Uh Okay. I did not go into the suck zone, evidently. Oh, 
but we got a good run in there, so. Oh god. Keep going, keep going. We can't stop. We gotta just keep going. <laughs> what part about keep going don't you understand? <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't gonna work. I need to do it the way that I've, I've been doing it, where I just I start the run up. Because that'll get rid of the top section and let me jump over them. So. Alright, this. Then do that. Short hop. Oh my god. That guy tried to get me. <laughs> he lingered on the side just long enough. For his friends to push him into my way. Oh my god. No. Oh, we were just a little too slow. Do I want to redo that one? No, not really. I don't think we're going to... Okay, so if it comes down to 399, like if I end up with 20 more of these things, just from the ones that we've done, then we know which one I'm going back for. It's that one. <laughs> but something tells me it's not going to be like that, so... Alright, back to the main gallery. Two more sections to go, but I think a lot of the invasion levels here we've already... Well, it's, there's 15 available here that we didn't get, and 11 here. Out of those, that's 26. I'd have to get 19 out of 26, but I think there are a few levels where we didn't get all the teensies in them, so, like, I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to go turn on my air conditioner because it's way too hot in here for me to be sitting here doing all of this while not having air. So I'll be right back. I'm just sat here like, you know, you know what I could use? Not to not be sweating right now. That's what I could use. <laughs> so we will do that. Hang on, let me just uh just in case because there's some music. Since there's uh some you know music in the background, I'd like to be able to hear it for one thing, and two, there might be some music cues because this is the type of game where the music can cue things for you to indicate, hey, go here, go there, go everywhere. Where am I going? This way. I hope this way, because this is the way that I'm going. Okay. That works. Oh my god. And, uh, yep, yeah, okay. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not gonna question it, just gonna keep going. Don't know where I'm swimming to, just gonna. Just keep swimming. Dory said it once, she'll say it a million times because it's her catchphrase, but just, just keep swimming. I think we're almost there. Oh, okay, that's how you do that. Okay, well, we got all three anyway, so. I wasn't sure about that one. I was like, maybe if I use these spouts, but didn't think about that one till the very end, so. All right, we're at 384. So at the very least, by the time we're done with these four invasion levels, I feel like we'll probably only have to go do one origins level at the most, because I think the first few are, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, 10 levels, so that should work out pretty nicely. Fire stick, things chasing me, you. Can't believe I'm still understanding where exactly my location is relative to the rest of the enemies. Oh god. I'm just gonna go over you there, friend. Okay, not n n not going that way. <laughs> I was gonna go there, I was like, oh, maybe there's a secret tech here to get me through here faster. No, there is not. That is, that is in fact where all the enemies are coming from, as a matter of fact. I can't believe I'm not, like, I'm, I'm barely, I'm singeing my toe hairs here by standing there. Okay, that works. All right, don't go under this time. It's tempting, I know, but don't go under. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to, like, launch myself to get there. Nope. Okay. Oh my god. That went on longer than I thought it was going to. I thought we were just about there, but there was like five more seconds worth of t stuff that I just... Oh, okay, there's more level. 
And again, just to be safe, we'll just check here. I, I don't anticipate there being. But just to be safe, we'll check. Okay, I already did this invasion level. Dark Rayman at Infiltration Station. All right, let's see. Uh, that was a little slow. Oh, I see. It's another one of these. Where it won't let me in. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> All right, then. You know what? I don't know what's going on anymore, but I'll take it. That was by far the most bizarre thing that's happened so far in these levels, but I'll take it, you know? Well, that's, that slows him down for a second, anyway. If only I could jump off of fireballs to get a little boost to that guy that's parachuting in. There. Gotta press up to get into that one, so... I must have pressed up, like, pixel perfect before. Now, how many rooms are there? That's the question. <laughs> Didn't know that was going to work, but I uh, was willing to give it a shot. <laughs> There's a lot of rooms. Holy crap. Oh, I see. Okay, it's just this part. Then. Oop. Thought I was going to jump off of his head. All right, so there's four rooms, it looks like, so I got to be... I can't be too slow. Pardon me. Okay, 11 seconds. If we manage that in each room, I think we'll be okay. So. Yeah, that was a little slower than 11 seconds in each room, but we made it. We had to make an adjustment, but, you know, that works. That doesn't work when he... I wonder why he didn't spawn immediately. Like, normally I would expect him to have spawned, like, right away, but he did not, so... I'll just jump off, that's fine. I didn't get hit there. But I'll take it. That was a fast one. We're at that about 11 second average right now. So yeah, I don't know why he didn't uh, show up immediately, but that's fine. You know, whatever. Excuse me. Pardon me. Going over your head. All right, we got three guys in this room. That was kind of bad. What the hell? Oh, there's more than three guys in this room. Oh, man. All right, if I would have slid down the wall, it might have been okay. Like, if I had done a diving attack, he first of all, the guy would have died. He didn't die, so that's not good either, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I hit my head again. Oh, I see. There's a, there's a beanstalk up there. I didn't see that before. Okay. Well, I was doing pretty good before with this, but... Well, either way, we will get it. Just gotta figure out the best way. I think I might just do this, honestly. Because that works. I was trying to do a, uh, a running start there, but didn't exactly work out that way. Oh, I got just enough height off of his head. Uh, not go. I need to scratch my... <laughs> my ear! It won't leave me alone! There we go. Alright, we're fine now. How about you go when I say go? Oh, what did I get hit by? Did he, like, get the fireball off in the pixel that I hit him, or what? Alright, fine. 
I need to not do that. That right there that I keep doing, I need to not do that because I'm going to every single time if I do that, I'm going to get hit by the fireball. There's just no, there's no other way around that. So I'm just going to go like that and then go. All right, there. That works. We're at that 11 second mark. This room I've got pretty well unlocked, I think. I'm going to say that and now I'm going to trip up somewhere. But you know. You know what? That's fine. It's not it's not fast, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll take it. Get out of my way. I should not have I was gonna go back for that guy, and then I my brain must have uh, said, Oh, it's fine, we won't run into anything. But uh, yeah, no, this is a dark Rayman level brain. Stay stick with the get with the program brain. You need to stop making the same mistakes over and over again. It's not gonna work out if you do. was doing before. There. So that's that. Now, next part. Use that to project myself up here. Go low. Go low again. Let's go this way. There we go. Gotta go round a little bit. Come in! Oh, hi. What's up? So that was very slow, but uh, actually no, because there's five guys in this room, so we're definitely losing at least one. Oh, and I shouldn't have jumped there. I don't know if 11 seconds per room is going to work, because that room definitely takes more than the seven seconds that I would have left in that case. I don't know. Well, we'll do what we can, and uh, that's all we'll do. If we don't get all of them, then we don't get all of them, you know? It just is what it is. I can't... I almost just bit it right there. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty good. That's, I think, our best time yet for that room, so... Go off of you. Sure, that'll work. <laughs> Alright, we got, like, eight and a half seconds to kill five guys and go up and around the wall here. I, I don't think this is going to work, but I will do the best I can. Oh. I should have just landed. That's what I should have done. I should have just landed. I didn't land. If I would have landed there, like, if I would have just said, okay, let's just hit the ground. Probably would have been a lot better off. Got the first room down pretty good now, though. I think say that and next retry I'm gonna get absolutely dusted in that room but you know it is what it is all right good there too now for room number three still don't have a better way of doing this than this honestly I guess I could just do that and go over yeah it's about the same amount of time as the last time honestly so it's actually less time because we only have seven and a half seconds like this. Oh god. Excuse me, pardon me. Uh, that's a sloped wall. I could have gone up. It didn't matter though. As long as we got in within 50 seconds because we were not getting the other one. <laughs> I'll take it. See, I think we're going to get to about 390 to 395, somewhere in there with the invasions. Uh, just judging by... We might have, like, a couple left in Olympus Maximus, because I think this is the last new one here. Yeah, this is the last new one here, so. All right, then. And we'll just do what we can. Oh, my God. Okay. So, another one of these sorts of levels. We Okay, that that works pretty nicely, but... I would take it. I'm not even going to worry about the fireballs. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. I don't got time. No. I was thinking I was going to not go off of that guy's head, but I guess I didn't have a choice. Now did I? All right, shoot the gap again. There we go. I guess I'll get rid of that guy since, you know, 
the game seems to want me to. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're fine. We were almost not fine, but we're fine. I think that was a little slow, if I'm quite honest. But okay. Oh, another sword, okay. I managed to trim my nose hairs on that one and still not uh, get myself killed. So I'll take it. That one went pretty well. Alright. That'll put us over the threshold. We're at 391. So we only got nine left. And again, I don't think it's going to be all from these invasion levels. I think we're going to be doing one Origins level in order to unlock uh, Living Dead Party. But we'll see. You never know. Yeah, we're definitely going to be doing one because all the invasions levels in here are already... Oh no, that one's new that has the Dark Rayman there. You know what, I probably, I got that one when I beat the last level, so that's probably why. So let's just, uh, we'll go do that one and then I don't know, are there any other new ones? One, two, three. Well, okay, so at an absolute best, if we manage to do all of these perfectly, we'll get to 400 and then we can go do the first level of Living Dead Party. I will see what I can do. I don't feel confident, but I will see what I can do nonetheless. So, oh, okay. Man, that's a low bridge. Okay, gonna have to be careful with that one. Yeah, I. Hmm. Maybe I can like jump and hit it, and then. Okay, that was way faster. Okay. I think that might be the, the strat right there, is jump and hit it. That's the strat for that one for sure. So like jump, do this, hit it, and then go underneath him. Goodbye. Huh. Alright. Uh, don't know what that did for me. Probably opened this up. Oh, okay. We got a wind tunnel. I'll go underneath you. Peldon! Don't got time. Don't got time. No, I see. Wow. Oh, we only got the one there. Okay, I think I can do that one better. I just, I wasn't really understanding what was going on for the last half. Like, once I got this tech, I was kind of like, okay, whatever. I don't, I don't get it, but... There we go. That works. So now I'll just try to do that again and not hit spikes while we're in the process of doing it. Do one of those, get rid of you. We know that platform is safe. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was bound to happen when I'm doing whatever the hell that was supposed to be. Alright. Let's go this way. Uh, I guess I'm going under you. Again. Again, it's a little slow, but, you know. It is what it is. Oh, yeah, right, I forgot about that. He's kind of uh, going the exact direction that I am, so I kind of can't just expect that to work. All right, but I think if we can get that room fast, I think we've got it. I think that's it, if we can get that room fast. But, okay, yeah, I forgot, I gotta go up and then down. All right. Try this again. Go up. Go down. Go down. Float up, hit this, go down. Just gonna keep going down. It's been working, so we'll keep going down. Uh, 
Got this one pretty good, though. Uh, no, we can't go there. Gonna have to do this. Alright, well, we only got two out of this one. I don't think there's any way I can lower my time to the point where we get all three there. So, we might be going back for that one. Now I just need to remember which level it was. <laughs> but we'll see how we do on this one. I mean, it, it might be in a situation where it's just like, okay, well, we've only got 397, and that's the best I can do. And then it'll be like, okay, well, might as well just go do the Back to Origins level at that point. But, you know, oh, what the hell is this? Oh, right at the end there, too. All right. All right, I'll try to remember that. Increase speed at the end here, too. At least I'm not getting chased in the process. That'd be no good. You led me to a death trap. Maybe I was just a smidge too slow, and that's why you led me into a death trap. I think it was that little glide, honestly. I think that little glide was what messed me up. I'll just collect and go. It's fine. If I have to, if I have to brace for impact. Did that guy really just snipe me? I'm not even looking down there. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> I'm not even looking at where you're walking. I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm walking here. I'm trying to walk here. All right. Uh, okay. Mm. I feel like I need to come down there. Like, I feel like I need to not try to glide there, because if I try to glide there, I'm just going to hit that guy no matter what. But I feel like if I do that, I'm just going to be too slow, and the guy behind him is going to hit me. But I don't know. I guess we'll see in a second. And it's also because I'm trying to, like, get all that stuff, so... Yeah, I just need to come down there. Oh my god! Get away from me! <laughs> Take it. Alright, where are they gonna try to snipe me here? Oh my god, trying to snipe me with the lava. Oh, we got them all, so. I'll take that one right to the bank, thank you. Alright, 396. Uh, I don't think we checked in here to see if there is anything. There's not. Should have expected that, but, you know. Honestly, though, I'm pretty happy with our results so far. It means we've only gotten, like, we've only missed about 10 teensies total. If we get all the ones here, we've only missed about 11. So I'm pretty happy with that, all things considered. Where the hell am I? Okay, there I am. Okay. Slow, 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 slow. Dark Rayman level. Get out of my way! You need to move faster out of my way, actually. I pressed the button. It didn't register. I won't press the button unless it registers this time. I'm going round. <laughs> Forget it. If, if it's these guys' friggin' day off and they want to take 17 years to get out of there, then I'll, I'll go around. <laughs> Like, man, I don't feel like it. I'm lazy today. Honestly, I get it, but, like, get out of my damn way. <laughs> okay. Gotta go up there. Well, up the middle's probably better, honestly. See, those guys move fast at the very beginning. These guys, they, they're just they're just on their way. They're just, they're just doing what they feel like. guys for a few extra goodies because why not okay. oh my god yeah, that current is rough oh, nope. okay so because they're so friggin slow at getting out of the way that second one I might uh, I can't really hang around because of dark rain man and then I just end up clipping myself barely as I'm trying to get through the gap there. Alright, well. 
Okay, I think that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it slow. I'm just gonna do it slow, even though it's slow, because I don't really know a better way to do it. So I also don't know where the end of the stage is. So like I don't know how fast I have to move to get this. Oh god. Okay. 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 The current's gone. Where the hell am I going? Okay. Could you could you run up the vertical slope, please? Thank you. Okay. Oh, yep, there they are. Okay. So I don't I don't feel like I could do that in such a way that um, I could uh, reasonably get my time down there. I feel like that's about the best I can do, honestly. So now we got two left. Uh, did I get any lucky tickets in the process of doing any of that? Ramesses. Okay. Ice fishing folly. Why so crabby? Aim for the oh, these are all the back to origins levels I didn't check last time. Is there any possibility I could go and do one of the old invasion levels and maybe get a uh, better time on it? I feel like this one is one that I could not, but uh, okay. I think I remember this one, actually. I think I remember this one. But I might be able to eke out a better time. We'll see. Okay. I feel like that was pretty slow, but you know. Get out of my way! Uh, oh, right, yeah, vertical slope. I keep saying vertical slope, like. It's vertical. It's not vertical. It's a, it's just it's a sloped wall. That's really what I mean when I say vertical slope. It's a sloped wall. Uh, where's the end of this one? Right there. Okay. I think. Mm, no, I don't think I could reasonably do that in less than 40 seconds. Honestly. I'm kind of glad the shields don't uh, have a hitbox on them, like a hurt box. That helps a little bit. You know what? I should have just kept going. All things considered, it probably would have been a little faster. I'm aiming for a fast time here, so... I'm gonna go right over you guys. You provide me with looms, but... What do I care about looms? When in reality, I can just do this! Okay, we're at 399 now. So now what do I do? I guess I could go to one of the levels and, like, try to get... One of the looms that I missed. Hmm. Which levels did I miss? Looms, or not looms, teen season. I got them all on this one. I don't know if I'd, maybe I'd want to redo that one anyway, because like, I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh yeah, that's the one where it's, uh, oh, you know, probably I could go through the amazing maze and find it, but then I'd have to beat the whole level in order to get it. If I remember correctly, you can't just find them and then leave, because if you do that, you don't get the teensy. So... Excuse me. We'll backtrack a little bit and see what we can do. Um, let me go back to Teensy's in Trouble, actually. Because I feel like the levels there will be a little easier to justify with uh, getting extras out of. Did we just do this one? And I didn't get a 40 second time, even though it's the first level? Alright, well, let's go see if I remember it. Okay, well... <laughs> I'm thinking, time save immediately. But this works. So far, so good. Yeah, that doesn't save time. Okay. And neither does that if I punch myself into fish bones. Why fish bones, anyway? Make my job a little easier. There we go. Can't believe I course corrected that enough. But I'll take it. Yeah, that's right. This is the one with the multiple levels in it. Afagor. I never say that. Why, why, why did I say Fergor just now? Did I watch something that had the word Fergor in it? And that's why? Probably. Hey, hey. Okay. Still running left, right? Yeah. Because okay. this guy is here to play. 
Oh my god. Okay, maybe if I didn't clip off the lip there, I'd be fine. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that in 40 seconds, honestly. I think I can reasonably do that one in 40 seconds. Let's retry that. Because I just need to... There's a couple of little things that I could clean up, and that would have been fine. Oh, okay. Thought I hit them. Like a couple of little jumps that I can clean up, a couple of little floats that I don't have to do. So, like that part, I don't even have to do any floating. I can just go. That was actually about the same amount of time anyway as the other ones, so. Oh. I thought I could jump off that wall and hit the fork early, but evidently not. At least not the way that I did it, anyway. Sure, I'll go over. Why not? Yeah, it's about the same amount of time whether you go off all three or just jump over and do the second one. Alright, well. It's slow as hell, though. No, there's got to be a better way to do that than the way that I was just doing it. Because that's where my one second is going, is right there. I think we hit that a little faster, though. Alright, so we don't end up in a situation like we did previously, where I hit the lip. Okay, well, we didn't hit the lip this time, so that's good. Might work out for us. Alright, I'll just punch things so we can... So damn close. So damn close. It was that... It was that slow section. It's that slow part with the watermelon. If I can get through the watermelon faster than I'm currently getting through it, I feel like we'll have it. But I just don't, I don't know how I would save time there. Guess I'm gonna have to find out, huh? Can I go like up and over? No. Okay. So now since I know my time is fucked anyway, I'm gonna try to like, do this in such a way. Yeah, no, that's, there's no way. That's not gonna. I don't know if you can do that any faster. I think you might just have to gun it and just hope for the best, honestly. That was pretty good, though. That was a pretty good time to start with. Let's just get a little burst of speed here as best as we can and then try to... Oh, I hit the lip again. Okay. Well, if I hadn't hit the lip there, it would have been real fast, but, I mean, we might be okay with just this. Okay. I'm just going to keep, like, trying to project myself forward as best as I can, like, with the attack. Because if I project myself forward, I hit the lip again. Damn it! <laughs> as soon as I hit that, I said, nope, that's it. That's This attempt is over. <laughs> I don't know. That might be faster than doing it the other way. Okay, well, yep. I, I, as soon as I as soon as I touch the ledge, I'm like, okay, nope, this attempt is over. <laughs> I don't know. I might be able to do that a little. It, it's. I don't think it's quite faster though than the other way. Maybe if I went up though. Yeah, that's that's way slow. We're way slower than we were. And I just projected. This is a bad time. I don't think we're going to be able to make up for time, but let's see what I can do. If I slow hop like that, or not slow hop, but like low jump, I might be able to do it. Go, go, go. We're almost there. Yeah. Maybe if I go up, though. Like, there's that one section of butter that's above me, then maybe if I go up there... That'll be enough to get me there in time. I don't know. I'm going to try it, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, see, I don't think that's any faster, honestly. And neither is that. Oh, well, maybe, actually. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. No, it's not faster. I mean, it did make me uh, get a little bit of extra time there, because, like, I did that slow, but... We'll see. I go over that low. Okay, I didn't project, but or rather I did project, and I didn't uh, do the running attack, which would have probably been pretty quick. But you know, All right, go go go! I can see the timer blinking. Okay, we did it. 
We did it. All right, I'll take it. That was, there was still a few little things, maybe like one or two little things I could clean up there, but we got all three of them. And that means we have 400 teensies and we've unlocked Living Dead Party. So let's go take a look. There it is. We haven't done any of the Back to Origins levels just yet, and we can go and do the first level of Living Dead Party. We missed just enough here, so we're missing three, eight... So I did my math wrong, didn't I? No, you know what it is? We got some teensies from the, uh, from the Lucky Tickets, and that's what's gotten us to just enough to get uh, Living Dead Party unlocked, because we're missing eight, eleven... 15, 19, so we've gotten 9 teensies from our lucky tickets, and that's been enough to get us, just barely enough, to get us unlocked at Living Dead Party. So let's go check it out, shall we? Now this one, I didn't want to say what it was before, but like I said, it's all 3 teensy stages, 7 levels, and that's because they are all music levels. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun might be wondering why we're seeing all of the other levels again. Well, they've got a bit of a twist. And then there's this guy over here, which is your final reward for getting all 700 Teensies. Uh, I think this is the gold Teensy Wizard, if I remember correctly. But I could be wrong about that. Either way, we will not see them in this playthrough. If you want to see them, you could always look it up. I will not be getting all 700 Teensies, but I will be doing Granny's World Tour to start things off here. And then after that, like I said, we'll go do Back to Origins levels. Excuse me, I forget if those get invaded as well. But we'll go do those. And my plan is basically to do one of those worlds and then come back here and then do one of those worlds and come back here. It might not work out, though, because there's lucky tickets available in all of these worlds. And if we get unlucky with the lucky tickets, we won't be able to unlock all of the Back to Origins levels until we beat all of the Living Dead Party levels. But we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. Either way, let's do Granny's World Tour, shall we? Alright, another music level. Here we go. This one's not a cover, though. Well, it is a cover, but... Not in the same vein. It's a cover of an, a song from Rayman Origins, actually. Now, that being said, it's a pretty good cover. that part. <laughs> Sorry, I got a style where I can. Right at the end, too. Alright, well, this one is unlike the other ones. You have to do this whole thing in one go, so at the very least, we don't have to worry about missing out on the whole song. We just have to hear, we get to hear the whole thing. That was a really good first attempt, though. I'll tell you what, I was feeling it. I need to hold glide, though, just slightly on some of those last couple of jumps, and then we'll be fine. Such a good song, man. <laughs>
I love the little burst of speed you get when you slide down those hills. <laughs> oh, it gives me such a burst of dopamine. Okay. I got it. The secret is don't hold the jump button. Kickass! <laughs> yeah, the secret is don't hold the jump button, because if you hold the jump button in that jump, you'll start gliding as soon as your attack comes out. And that doesn't work. <laughs> so there we go. But yeah, that's that's a real good one. Like, I like all the music levels in this game, but man, Granny's World Tour still just, it gets me, man. It's super good. <laughs> Alright. Good start. And that will unlock... Uh, the next one, if I remember correctly. I think they just all unlock one at a time. Yeah. So we could keep going and do Castle Rock 8-Bit Edition. Uh, it's not just a change in music, though. Each of the levels ahead of us comes with a twist. We'll save the twists for now, because for now, let's go back to Origins, shall we? The Teensy Queen was... I don't think she was playable in Origins. I don't think there were skins in Origins. I think it was just Rayman, Globox, and two Teensies, but, uh... She'll get to go see what Rayman did before she was hanging around. Ramesis, huh? Alright, fair enough. In an attempt to tarnish Rayman's reputation, Ramesis dresses like him and stalks the Glade of Dreams, smashing things. A desperate case in need of serious anger management. Okay, well. I think the best form of anger management is to keep him locked in a portrait prison for all of eternity. That seems like a great idea. <laughs> Definitely won't make him, like, want to, to get his revenge or something more just because we're keeping him trapped. Nope, that could never happen. <laughs> all right, Gibberish Jungle a go-go. Now, obviously, there's going to be some story stuff missing from each of these levels because, well, you know, it's not going to feature the story of Rayman Origins in Rayman Legends, but... Uh, we'll get the gist of the levels themselves out of it anyway, well, still, like, we'll get the gameplay sections out of it while still doing the rest of the, we, we will just miss out on the story parts, but I don't remember Rayman Origins having a particularly in-depth story. That being said, ever since I started playing this, I've been getting recommended this video. I don't remember the channel, but I've been getting recommended this video. Uh, of a guy who did coverage of uh, Rayman Origins, I think. It was like some sort of like analysis video or something, I don't remember. Maybe it was just him doing gameplay or something, I don't know. Uh, but the, the video title is, is pretty great. It's uh, Rayman Origins Confusingly Horny is the name of the video. And it's it's pretty great because the thing about it is that Rayman Origins, in each level, you rescued, I think it was a nymph, if I remember correctly. Um, basically, uh, they kind of looked like Barbara and company, but not quite. Um, and they did magical powers and gave Rayman and his friends back their abilities, like gliding and all that other stuff, so... Um, but it's just, it's, the video title to me is funny, because of the fact that uh, the nymphs were all, like, really objectified, I guess? I, I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily funny to a lot of people, but I find it kind of funny that it's just... Because, like, you use you see the video thumbnail, and it's just, like, the a couple of the nymphs with just really massive tits, and it's like, oh, okay, so this is... The, they edited something in the video in order to make that happen, right? No, they actually... <laughs> They actually looked exactly like that in the game, so... It's, it's just, I don't, and I don't really get it. I don't know why they did that with the nymphs, but like, whatever. It, it is what it is. That Ubisoft wanted to make a, wanted to make a weird, horny, uh, children's platformer, and, you know, whatever. Fair enough, more power to them, I guess. I'm not the one making a game, but I just... I find the video funny just because of the fact that it's like... 
you, you would think that that's normally what they do is like video people who make videos like that is they'll edit that in is there anything down here no death that's what's down here got it um normally they edit that stuff in like people who make videos about games like that to, just to draw the eye you know but uh, in this particular case, uh, okay, I'm glad I did not make that. Um, in this particular case, no, no editing whatsoever. Just that's exactly that's exactly what the game was like. They were just nymphs with big tits for some reason. I don't know why, but sure, why not? There's got to be something up there. It just it has that look, you know what I mean? But I don't know if there's a way for me to get up there. Ah. Okay, well, there is a way, but there's nothing up there. Fair enough. Alright. Where are we going here? Uh, is there anything back here? No, not there anyway. Okay. Yeah, definitely some potential, and I mean, if this is the first level, definitely some potential here for you to get smushed, so. It's possible. That Rayman Origins was slightly more difficult than Rayman Legends has been. I feel like it's not a matter of difficulty, though. I think it's more a matter of, like, what the priority was in Rayman Origins versus Rayman Legends. In Rayman Origins, at this point, I don't even know if you had Sprint at this point. So, maybe you did, but you could kind of take your time a little bit on some of the levels, you know? So. I know you didn't have Glide at this point in Rayman Origins, so... Definitely don't want to. Okay, end up doing that that I just did. Yeah, I don't. Know. I guess that like the levels sort of prioritized you taking your time a little bit more in some situations. So give you a little bit more extra um, room to think. I don't know. Anything up here? No, just a bunch of stuff that's uh, tempting me. All right, there we go. Now you can go back and grab these things that I didn't grab. There we go. Uh, don't want to go down there. I do want to go down here though. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out. Oh, that worked out. Oh, no. It worked out just fine, actually. Uh, oh, okay. Sure, I'll take it. And now you're gonna get it! But yeah, you see how there's, like, a door at the, uh, at each section of the stage? That was more the focus of Rayman Origins, is it was more on, like, sections of level. It's kind of like... I guess the best analogy I can give is that Rayman Origins is more like a traditional Mega Man game in terms of the way that it sections off levels, whereas uh, Rayman Legends is more like a Mega Man X where there's very few sections of levels, you know, where it just kind of, the whole level is just laid out in front of you. Whereas there's screen transitions in traditional Mega Man games and that gives you, it's like each section, each screen is a puzzle that you have to solve. Or a platforming challenge. So I guess that's kind of the vibe that I get from Rayman Origins versus Rayman Legends. I don't know how exact that is, but, you know, it is what it is. So. Got a whole bunch of teensies out of that level. 413 now we're working with. Got another level taken care of. We got our lucky ticket as well. So uh, let's see. We can do three more levels here before we have to stop. And then I'm thinking what I might do is I might scratch off my lucky tickets once we hit a wall like this because I'd like to do the whole world. I don't think that's going to actually work because like we'd have to unlock all of these still and there's still four more paintings that I have not unlocked. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what we can do. Which one was this one? Does it tell me? No, it doesn't tell me. Fair enough. Mosquito! Alright, so, mosquito levels. These were a thing in Rayman Origins. You fly around, you pew pew things to get some uh, extra looms, extra shoot. 
So unlike square to attack, you shoot with X and you inhale with uh, the square button. I don't remember what you inhale, though. I guess we're going to find out. I guess I can just run right into that. All right, fair enough. Gotcha. So yeah, little shmup sections here. That's fine. I mean, we've had levels where we're in the air anyway, so I could have crossed that up. No. Gonna try not to overdo it with the shooting, because I feel like at a certain point it gets annoying just watching me shoot straight ahead. Like, let's just enjoy the scenery, you know? Hold square to inhale, then press X to shoot. You know what I'll, I'll bet you, though? I bet you I remember what it is for square to inhale. Okay, that's not it. Oh, well. Okay, so that guy's not dying from the single hits. Interesting. Piranhas. I don't know why you'd be worried about piranhas in a place like this, but... Okay, so it just takes multiple hits to get him. You're, you're not looms. You, you are looms now, but you were not looms a minute ago. But yeah, notice how the projectiles bounce off of walls, too, so you can actually use that to your advantage in certain cases. I just went the most roundabout way possible. Oh, this isn't going to work. Nope. <laughs> All right, well... Uh, we'll try to try to do that one again. Send this man to the great beyond real quick. There we go. Grab a few of those. We'll go underneath that. Okay. Sure, that'll work. Sorry, I was firing ahead of myself again without uh, without a need to do so. One thing I also remember a little bit about Rayman Origins is that I think it was a little tougher to get to the 300, like the normal loom count that you would use for a, um, a gold, but I could be misremembering that. Well, that guy's uh, not coming back. <laughs> And if I remember correctly, there were little bosses at the end of each of these as well. I think. I could be wrong about that. I don't know if it's 300 here, though. I feel like it's probably more than 300, but... Oh, that's what it is. You inhale this, and then you shoot it like that. There you go. Yeah, so there are bombs. And we can inhale them. I was afraid if I hit... If I shot that bomb... I was gonna uh, blow up the teensy, but that hasn't been a thing yet, so to be fair. Oh, okay, well, there I go. I had a heart and everything, <laughs> and he still ate me in one hit. Oop, well, there goes that one. Oh well. But yeah, shooting it, I don't think it does anything bad. So, like. Find a few more bombs, and then we'll be good. Not currently seeing any. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that actually hit him. Can't believe it. It hit him through the thing. And now he will deflate. Very good, very good. Park my mosquito at the rest stop. Thanks, buddy. Now for you. I also just like all of the, the sound effects that the uh, the doors make as well. They're just like... Aah! Geriatric old man over here. <laughs> I don't know, I just find that funny. Alright, what's the what's the damage here? Okay, yeah, so 300. Yeah, I remember it being harder to get gold medals in... Were there gold medals in Rayman Origins? Man, my memory is fuzzy on that one. It's been like 12 or 13 years, though, since I played it, so I couldn't... I couldn't tell you for the life of me, but either way, we did pretty well in this one. That's the important thing. Now on to the next one. So we're done with Hi Ho Mosquito, off to Swinging Caves, and then like I said, we'll do that one in Playing in the Shade, and then I think we'll scratch my lucky tickets. We've been doing it at the end of episodes, and it's almost the end to be fair anyway, but uh, 
we'll we'll do it at the beginning. Oh, hang on, this is a sloped wall, I think. Yep. Uh, it doesn't do me any good, but you know. Yeah, so we'll do it once we uh, hit the. Uh, once we hit the threshold at the end of- what am I saying? Once we're done with the next level, that's when we'll scratch off our lucky tickets, just in case it unlocks any extra stuff from this world. Although I suppose, like, there's quite a few... Oh well, that uh, actually surprisingly worked out pretty nicely. I'm gonna grab this other one before I go get that guy, because I know there's a hidden area down there. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it there. Anything else up here? I don't see anything. Alright, so I'm just gonna assume no. Yeah, like, you didn't even have, uh, Glide at this point in the OG. I don't think you got Glide until Desert of Didgeridoos, if I remember right. So you were somewhat limited on your moveset, but that was fine. It, they designed a lot of the levels around that. And yes, they also have an Angry Birds level for some reason. I don't know why, but okay, well. Okay, sure, why not? I'll just slam my face directly into that guy, why not? That works. I thought I was going to be able to hit them properly. Okay, well that got rid of most of them. And that gets rid of you. Sweet! Okay, so that's that. Let's keep on a moving. Uh, anything else down there? I'm not seeing anything. That doesn't mean there's nothing there. But I'm not seeing anything. Could be here. No, because it projected me directly out. So definitely not. Uh, okay, so ah, I see. Okay. Gotcha. And there's one directly below me. Right here. Yep. Can't really hide from me in, this, in these particular instances anymore, game. I, uh... I know all the tricks. I've played the Legends section of the content, so I've... I've seen some devious hiding spots already. I don't think I can get back up there, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go down here. Oh, I'm on the thing. Oh, okay. That works. Sure. Why not? Slide down. Ooh, okay. Thanks for the lift, friend. Because I will check this hidden section. Okay. Well, I was gonna try to jump on his head, but that works too, I guess. Go straight on up, and then go back. Speaking of didgeridoos, that was a didgeridoo as well, wasn't it? The, with the, the little boinging sound in the background? Or am I misremembering my instruments? I could be misremembering my instruments. I don't recall. I am not a music major, so... I will do the best I can to uh, let you know what's what, but... Oop, okay. I'm coming, hang on! I think. There we go. Okay, he stops eventually. And I will stop and go back down. I might have missed something. Uh, I don't think so, unless there's something down there, but I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going. I don't remember being able to climb those, but I guess that's an Origins thing. I mean, you don't do that in Legends, obviously, but, uh... There we go. You're gonna get it, sir. 
I think it's also just like the the physics of it too. You know what I mean? We're just like they just bounce their eyeball just bounces all over the place after you whack them. Just, I don't know. I find it kind of funny personally. All right, that's all of them again. I think we got another gold. Got one more level to go. Oh yeah, definitely. At a 616 for sure. So we'll do one more level. Then we'll scratch our lucky ticket, see if we unlock any more of the Origins levels from doing those. And then we will go from there. Because I think our lucky tickets now are just limited to whatever we get in the levels. I don't think we get any more from completing worlds like we did in the first five, but uh, all the way up to Olympus Maximus. But I don't think we get any more from completing these. So guess we'll see, though. All right, playing in the shade. I think this is a Donkey Kong Country Returns reference. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because that was a pretty popular at the time. Uh, actually, I don't need to smash you in this particular game. These treasure chests were some of the first chase levels in uh, the OG Rayman Origins. So that's where they get a lot of their ideas from for those. Uh, but... They were used, if I remember correctly, to get Skull Teeth. And Skull Teeth are a an item that obviously we don't need in Rayman Legends because we haven't gotten any. Is this a... No, it's not a spike. Okay. Uh, but Skull Teeth were used to unlock the uh, Land of the Livid Dead in the original. So In this one, I guess they just have a teensy in it. Uh, you needed to get all ten of the Skull Teeth for the Skull Tooth door at uh, the very there's a, at the very very beginning of the game if i remember correctly if you walk left instead of right there's a door and it's missing all 10 of its skull teeth and if you get all the skull teeth chests from the chase levels in rayman origins you could open that up and that'll unlock the land of the livid dead which is where the granny that was doing the world tour uh in living dead party in this game uh her and i guess the rest of the grannies all live down in the land of the livid dead so that's how that works, basically. Um, now, you know, the other thing about this, though, is that all these Back to Origins levels that we're unlocking, it's they're coming up in different levels. Like, these ones are Desert of Didgeridoos. Uh, those are just challenges, so those are not in levels, but, like, uh, n basically not in specifically these levels, you know what I mean? So it's... Uh, one of those things. All right, so there's what? Hang on, one, two, three, four levels left here. So why don't we just go do four more levels in Back to Origins? Like it doesn't have to be in here; it can be in one of the other paintings. If we do it that way, then we'll probably end up in about the same place as we would have been otherwise. I think. Let's just see what we got here. Yeah, we got four levels here. Okay, so we'll just uh, one, two, three, four. We'll do the first four here. And then we'll go back to Living Dead Party and we'll do Castle Rock 8-Bit. We'll see how much time we have then. I think that'll be about it, honestly, because I feel like after that... I guess they really liked their run left in Origins, huh? Okay, thank you for the lift, sir. I'll take it. I don't know, I feel like I, I run through the levels a little bit faster in... Uh, Rayman Legends than I did in Rayman Origins. It feels like I was going slower in uh, Origins just because I think you had like slightly less, uh, just slightly less movement, I guess. Uh, I wonder if there's anything in here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say that looks like a little hidden section. Uh, I might not be able to get those in time. They might be floating off into the atmosphere too quickly. Yeah, they... they uh, the draw distance, it uh, went away. I see. Okay. Yeah, I don't really... I guess I could do that to get up there. There we go. I definitely don't want to be down there when it's doing that, that's for sure. Anything... I don't think there's any way to go down there, though, like underneath that, so I don't think I'm gonna bother. 
And really, I don't need to be that thorough anymore, you know what I mean? Like, we've unlocked... There's no other limits in terms of the number of teensies we get, you know what I mean? Like, once you have Living Dead Party unlocked, the only other thing that's preventing you from getting everything is, uh... Whatchamacallit, is, uh... If you want the extra characters, you know? So... And since I'm just gonna unlock whatever skins we get, I'm not real super concerned about that, honestly. So. Is this just... yeah, okay. He's like, oh no, my imminent death! Ugh. Nothing above the door, it looks like. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Hold on, I'll be there for you in a second. Ah, I was a little, little off on that one. There we go. I'll take that as well. Smack those up. Uh, was that... Yeah, we're still good in terms of the, uh... The collecting. I don't think there's anything down there. We hit a different thing. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could just get them this way instead of getting them the bonus way. Might not even get that one. Yeah. I mean, I could go back for it, I guess. I'm getting the feeling, though, just judging by the scenery, that, uh... What I said was a didgeridoo was not, in fact, a didgeridoo. Because it's looking like, if this is a desert of didgeridoos, it would make sense, then, that the didgeridoos themselves are all of these woodwind instruments that are all over the place. So... I may have been incorrect on the sound effect there. See, I don't know what instrument it is that causes that little twanging sound. It's probably some type of guitar, but... Slide on down the wall. Something we didn't really have to do in Legends all that much. Thanks for the leg up, friend. I might be needing it again. Nope, never mind. Oh, yep, I guess I did. Thanks for the leg up again. Oh, the heart. It went away. Not that it matters, I don't need it, but... You know, it would have been a few extra looms that I could have collected, I guess. A lot of enemies posing as, uh, whatchamacallits there. Oh, almost got them all. Alright, I'll just float here for a second and almost die in the process. Uh, I don't think there's anything down there. I'll take that with me to the bank, thank you. Do some kung fu on it. There we go. And, um... No, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. So, straight away. And into you. Yeah, doing pretty good, all things considered, on the, uh... On the loom counts, I think. Given the amount of teensies that we've got available to us. Go. Just got to find the other secret here, and then I think we'll be good. All right, I'm not even worried about the looms. I'm more worried about this. Worried about the looms. So. Okay. Yeah, I could just sit here, flap my arms like a little bird, and grab these so that I'm. <laughs> I mean, I'm good now. Like I've got, I've got 600. So like we're we're done in terms of loom collecting to get this part done. I can definitely see where there would be a secret here. Okay, I got to land there first of all. There we go. Found you. Well, that was quick. Nice and easy. Little guitar made of iron pipes, it looks like there. Just don't drop it. It's funny because I've been uh, actually looking up some stuff for uh, Yakuza recently. And uh, there's this mod, apparently, for... 
one of the games that we haven't played in the series yet. And it's like... It's the game if it had brain rot, basically. Like, if it had the same brain rot as, like... And when I say brain rot, I mean that's what a lot of the internet refers to as, like, the memes that uh, are currently trending on the internet. It's like, this if this had brain rot. And that's what I mean by that. I'm not saying it derog in a derogatory way. It's still... Okay. You dropped me! But, um... Yeah, and I don't know, I thought it was pretty funny. I definitely didn't get a good chunk of the references, but uh, I thought what I did get was pretty funny. So. I wonder if they go down an octave, or like down a note, after you hit them. It's kind of cool. I mean, again, like I said, obviously there's quite a few things in there that I don't understand because I'm not like on the up and up for a lot of current internet trends but the ones that I did get uh, I don't know there were some that were pretty funny there were some where I was I was scratching my head and the person who's playing was like laughing their ass off I'm like what the hell but yeah I don't know I don't I don't even remember why I brought the subject up now that I think about it but it, yeah I don't know it was pretty funny I guess There's, there's funny to be had in both games, I guess, is the point that I'm making. Although I think uh, Yakuza's a little more serious than Rayman, to be fair. Rayman's kind of just there to have fun. Is that guy in the floor? Or is he just really short? No, he's just really short. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I just noticed that. I, di I don't know if that's happened before this. Is it like, there's just like a tiny one. Is he a baby? Is he a baby teensy? They're kidnapping babies now in Back to Origins. That's so great. Uh, so I thought I saw something over here, so hold on. Yeah, because if I go like this... Yep, mm-hmm. Had, had a feeling. Oh, good. A little, uh, little air bubble, air pocket for me take advantage of. Hit that up. Don't get spiked in the process. I'll take the both of you with me. And go straight on over. Uh, actually, I think getting into it might be better because then I'll hit those guys. So There we go. It's moving me forward, but like... I don't know if I want to go forward yet, because there's at least some way to get to that guy other than doing that, so... Oh, okay, so that's what that does. Alright, got it. I was going to try to see what was over there, but we've already kind of seen it, just from what we just looked at. So... Alright, time to die. Uh, let's see. I'll take it. I believe a plunging attack, a crush attack there, will just flat out, uh, like, it'll take care of everything in the whole, uh, gift bag for you. So. You know, I'm just not gonna touch any of the buttons until I get to the point where I'm in control again, then I'll just, <laughs> I'll just go from there once that happens. Okay, sure, why not? Almost automated that sequence. All right, so that's that. I'll take a hand up. Where's this gonna send me? Oh, probably right down here, yeah, okay. It's so just in case you missed the secret, now you can go back and grab it. Because otherwise it would probably be kind of hard to get it. How the hell does this work? Oh, there's an air current. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't a sloped wall. It's because it doesn't have to be. Just don't hit the spikes. Of course, the, the thing is, right, is that like I almost feel like I need to be moving more urgently because we started the uh, we started the stream off with uh, more urgent stuff. 
with uh, the invasion levels where you have to move quickly, but... Nope, don't gotta. Not this time. We can take our time and just move our way along. So... It's kind of nice. Let's you, lets you take things at your own pace, you know? I don't like these spike birds, though. They can... They can... They can, uh... They can fall off a short pier, for all I care. I don't know where they're gonna find a short pier around here, but, you know. Pale done, sir, I'm trying to get the one or so looms that I definitely don't need. Actually, this level we're not doing so great on our loom count, like normally we're a little bit higher, but, uh, it might just be because the level still has a good chunk left in it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, because that's the fourth one? Yeah. So the level's just still got a good chunk left in it, that's why. Oh, okay. I didn't... I didn't realize that, uh... Didn't realize there was near current again. I guess I should have known that just from the start. If I actually paid a little bit of attention, I might have known that, but, uh... Apparently not. Apparently my brain is somewhere else right now. I'm gonna go back for all that stuff, but let's get you first. Probably shouldn't have collected those in that order, but, yeah, you know. I got all of those. Thank you for not getting stuck on the spike bird. That's great. Alright, grab these. And then up I'll go. Uh, it's gonna come back. Yeah. So I will just do that. And it'll take that as well. Oh, okay. Nope, I see it. I think I see it. I think I got a lake. Well, that was just about right. I just gotta run at it and take a running jump at the correct time. Or I can just do it that way, where I just... I don't do it at the right time, and they almost spike me in the, in the feet, but, like... Still manage it because I do a quick little glide tech. So I'll take it. Right, where are you guys gonna go? Roy right here! Uh, okay, so that's the rest of the level. Oh my god. Got like a million pounds of momentum there. That's not how you measure momentum, but... Whatever, I ain't no physics major. Hell, I ain't even very good at chemistry. I'm taking it right now, but... It's never been my forte. I don't know, the thing about chemistry for me is that, like, I'm taking it right now because my class requires... Like, I need it in order to get the degree that I'm looking to get on the certification, but, like... In order for it to be something that... I'm interested in, like, that's basically how it needs to be functioning, is it needs to be relating to a subject that I'm interested in, and, I don't know, it just, general chemistry doesn't really do it for me. Is there anything over there? No. I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, 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 okay. You know what, I'll take it. It's fine. We have the heart, might as well use it. Where are you leading me? Oh, okay. Thank you for leading me there, because that will get me another teensy. But yeah, I don't know. The general chemistry that I'm taking currently, it doesn't really, like... There isn't really anything about it that's particularly, like, interesting to me. Uh, because it's not really relating directly to what I'm studying. You know? so. I mean, there's general ideas around it that it's like, okay, so thermochemistry is our current... Well, we just finished that unit, but... I mean, obviously, when you're heating up food, there's thermochemistry going on there, but, like... A lot of the anecdotes for that are, like, engineering or physics-related, because a lot of that stuff is also concerned with the way that heat is generated, and electricity and all that. So, a lot of the anecdotes end up being for that. It's like, oh, if you're going to be an engineering major, it's like, uh, thank you, but no. <laughs> but I can't, I mean, I can't expect them to have anecdotes for nutrition and dietetics, you know, like, what? 
that's that's asking for a lot. I mean, like you think about it, your your there's another tiny one. Maybe I just haven't been noticing the tiny ones. I mean, you think about it this way: your doctor, like if you go to the doctor's office, your doctor took exactly one nutrition class in the entirety of his PhD. So he's taken one in the 12 years that he was doing his doctorate. He took one nutrition class. So expecting anyone else to really have a lot of anecdotes surrounding it is not really this looks like a chase level where am i going where am i going where am i going why i didn't know i didn't mean it uh but yes expecting anybody to have anecdotes of like stuff that's for something that they probably didn't do a whole lot of themselves is kind of asking for a lot i guess Nice leisurely ride on the caterpillar. The woodwind caterpillar. Hold a moment, sir. I'll be right up to get you. There you go. Was there a little... Oh, no, there wasn't. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing things now. That's just great. Take that with me. I'd be willing to bet there's something up here, too, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there for now. So... Uh, yeah, no, there's, there's probably something up there, but, like, I wasted my chance trying to get those looms instead, so. And, I mean, to be fair, looms at this point are the more important of the two currencies in terms of them versus teensies. Not that the teensies aren't important. Their lives are important. It's just the looms actually will get you something, whereas the teensies at this point kind of won't. Oh, God. Oh, we're surviving. Slowly but surely. Did I did I get that guy, though? I don't know if I got that teensy. I'm gonna go back. I don't know if I actually uh, took him with me. So, that's not there. Try to stay ahead of it this time so we can actually, like... There we go. So we don't get stuck on a bad ride. Yeah, thank you. I'm doing it again. I'm looking at the looms. I'm not looking at the... Not looking at my ride getting away. Okay, let me get through there. Before it, uh... Before we get to the point where my ride gets away from me again. Right, let's see. Uh, nope, we've gotten all of them so far. So there wasn't anything up in that one section that I was saying there might be. Ah, I see. Alright, so we'll just wait and slide down. Take care of all of you. And then I can probably just, yeah, do that. And then take the express up to the top to grab you. We did miss one. Okay, so maybe there was a hidden section that I just didn't get to. Oh, that's fine. Like I said, I'm not super concerned about it at this point because we've gotten more than enough teensies to get all of the where's my ride. I, I did it again. I just started going. <laughs> where's my ride? Dude, where's my car? I can't just jump at these looms and expect to actually go in the correct direction here. It, just do it doesn't work that way. Well, that wasn't so good, but I'll take it. Slide down faster so we can get out of here faster. Alright. I gotta go off of you. Oh, nope. Well, you're gonna have to go up a little higher. In order for me to catch this person. I think we can catch them now. Yep. And there's nothing up there. I expected there to be a skull coin or something up there, but there was not. Which is fine. Although I don't know how much longer this level is, so I'm not sure. I mean, we should be able to get a lucky ticket, at the very least. But, you know, let's see. Okay. 
Quit my ride, it's getting away again. Okay. I'll do some quick platforming, why not? My ride is speeding up, so I might as well. Take that. It did not hurt the didgeridoo worm, so that's good. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. Took a hit, but we were all... Oh my god, okay. I was gonna say, took a hit, but we're all good, but we, uh, we were not all good. Because then I didn't have an extra hit to take. Dude, where's my car? There we go. I better go ahead before this thing smooshes me. Okay, there we go. Some light platforming. While my car speeds up. Take that, thank you. So we can just do it that way. That works a little bit better, I think, than trying to do it the other way. All right, I'm missing stuff, but I gotta... I gotta move! Or else my ride, it will get away. And we are just about there. We're just about to the 600, and we're just about done with the level, because here's the end right here. Hang in there, friend. I'm almost done. And that guy got real pissed when I hit him. Oh, there's another tiny one. Yeah, I'm starting to... I guess I'm starting to just pay attention now to which ones are which, because I don't remember seeing tiny teensies. Sorry, I hit the pop filter just now. Um, but we could have been seeing them all along, and I just wasn't... It just glossed over it. <laughs> I think if I remember correctly, later on in the game, once you get all of... I want to say once you get all of them, but it could be, like... Just once you get all of them in a world, I think they turn gold, but I could be wrong about that. So. I think I remember seeing that, though, somewhere. Alright, we got another Mosquito level. And then after that, we will go do Castle Rock 8-Bit Edition, and I might call it a day after that, because, okay. <laughs> what, you're going to punish somebody for running left? You're just going to stick a little, little string there that just... Uh, no, don't run left. Fuck you. Like, I just want to see what's to the left, man. Why oh, you got to kill me like that? That's not very nice. But yeah, try to make sure, in order to get your, uh, whatchamacallit, to get to your 300 in order to get your gold, you're going to want to try to, uh, whatchamacallit, you're going to want to try to hit the guys, oh, hang on. Uh, the groups. You're going to want to try to hit all the groups so that you can get these little sections of rooms here. Oh, I see. I don't know how good that did me, but sure, I'll take it. Why would I want to inhale? Oh, I see. But yeah, like, see, I've missed a few groups already, so I've been missing a few of the looms. But, I think we should still be okay. And like I said before, anyway, I'm not really super concerned about it, because, like... We're not, we're not really in a situation where we need to... Well, I guess I should be a little worried, because we need to get to 225 in order to, uh, okay, I don't know what I'm getting myself into there, but sure. Oh, I see. Okay, so run into the other part and the bats will get me. Got it. Yeah, I guess I should still be a little concerned because, uh, I gotta, like, I gotta get to 225 so we get a lucky ticket out of the level, but, you know. I think we're through there. Yep. Grab a few more. Oh, I need to go. Okay. Oh, God. Alright, 
Let's not go out of there. I probably could be bouncing my bullets off the walls a little bit more as well, but like, I haven't been doing that so much apparently. <laughs> okay, let's not go directly forward yet, because then I can... Oh, okay. No, I did them in the wrong order anyway. Alright, fair enough. Oop, okay. And that was just monumentally stupid, what I just did there, so... But I guess it gets the bombs out of the way, so... Alright, we've got our lucky ticket at this point, so... I'm not so concerned, I guess. Alright, where's the boss? I know the boss is here somewhere. Am I gonna have to fight the boss while getting through this ice stage? I don't know what that was, but sure, why not? No, get out of my way. There. I didn't actually remember... I don't remember actually ever doing that, but okay, fair enough. I don't think you can inhale those guys, so the stage is going faster. I better I better move. I'm gonna shoot ahead of me in this case. Sorry for that, but just in case there's a guy in my way, I have to push out of the way again. Like before. Doesn't look like it though. Alright, park my mesquite, and off I go. Looks like we're just shy of a uh whatchamacallit. We're just shy of a gold, but that's fine. Got our lucky tickets, that's the important part. Oh no, we got to 325 because of the, uh, the teensy that we rescued. I forgot, because they give you 30 each time you rescue one. So that works. I'll take it. I'm pretty satisfied, though, overall, with how many teensies we've gotten. I don't know exactly how many we'll have missed by the time we're done, but I don't think it'll be too many. So, alright, so here's what I was thinking. I was thinking here I would scratch off my lucky tickets, but since we're just going to do Castle Rock 8-bit, we might as well just go do that, and then uh, we can scratch off all our lucky tickets for the day after that point. So probably what we'll end up doing is we'll go through uh, the Origins levels a couple of times. So, like, we'll do all the levels we have unlocked there. I think we've done all of the ones we have unlocked here at the moment. Um... So we'll have to go through them a couple of times to get the other levels, because there's four more here to unlock. So we'll just go through the other ones we have unlocked, we'll scratch our lucky tickets to try to unlock more of them, and then we'll do another pass at it, we'll see how many we get done. And as we do them all the way through, looks like there's eight levels in each painting, so it'll be 40 levels in Back to Origins, so if we do it that way, we'll just do eight, and then a music level, eight, and then a music level, or as much as we can, and then a music level, and then... Ideally, we will. the last music level will be the last thing that we do. I don't know if it'll work out that way, but that would be the ideal situation in my eyes, is if we did uh, the last music level in Living Dead Party as our last level. So, we'll see. Either way, we got Castle Rock, 8-bit edition. Like I said, the music is changed to be, obviously, 8-bit, as you can tell by the name of the level, but... On top of that, each of these levels has a unique twist to make things a little bit trickier. So let me strap in real quick. All right, let's go see what the unique twist is in Castle Rock 8-bit first, shall we? Oh, fisheye friggin' camera effects. Come on now. You guys can do better than that. I'm gonna be all disoriented. I thought my eyes were uh, disoriented before. Gonna be disoriented now. But other than the camera effect, it's the same level as it was with new music. Well, an 8 bit. Is this Commodore 64 sound chip? I'm not sure. 8 bit rendition of the old theme. Okay then.
And because it's 8-bit, sometimes the uh, symbols that were in the other one are not in this one, so... There they are, though. Ooh, the camera's in real close here. Gotta remember, though, there's two guys down here. Yeah, it's basically the same level, other than the music being changed and the camera effect being uh, trying to mess with you deliberately. It's the same level, so as long as you remember what the other level was like, you'll be fine. Just play it exactly like you played the other one, and if you have to, don't be afraid to go back and do the other level again. Like, just, there's no harm in it, I mean. Especially if you didn't get all the, like, the gold in the other ones, or you didn't get all the teensies in the other one. Go back and play the old level again before you play these ones, and then you'll have an idea of what the level's like. And you can just come back and then play it with the new music and get all the stuff out of it, so... There you go. So now we have Orchestral Chaos 8-Bit unlocked, and we will save that one for now. But before we call it a day, let's scratch off all our lucky tickets back in the main hall, shall we? Let's see what we unlock while we're here. Yeah, only 10 lucky tickets for today, but that's because of all the invasion levels that we did. We'll be back to getting our usual 15 to 20, probably, on the next stream because we'll be doing levels that actually let us get them. There's another Back to Origins level there, so... That works pretty good, actually. Some extra looms, why not? A little bit up here, a little bit down there, there we go. Another creature. We'll go check our creatures once we're done. Potatoes. Thought I had enough of those when we played Fallout 4. Okay, another painting. Should be getting quite a few of these, though, because we've still got several levels to go. I mean, we still don't have uh, Mystic Peak in uh, the Back to Origins paintings, so... Unless we just unlocked a Mystic Peak level, which... That may be what that one is, I don't remember, to be honest. We'll see. There's another one. Good, very good. Just keep unlocking those because the more of those that we do, in fact, unlock, the less of them that I have to think about going and unlocking later. So. And there's another one. Good. Golly gee, Golem. Scoob, how are we gonna beat Golly gee, Golem? I don't know why that reminded me of Scooby-Doo for some reason, but there we go. <laughs> and a creature. Alright, so we'll go check our creature cave. See what we've got. Uh, might as well just check it from this. And then we've got all the Back to Origins stuff as well. So we got a couple of them. This one gave me a Skull Coin. I'll take it. I have the Bronze Medal over here now, because we got another rare one. Well, actually, that's not why I have the Bronze Medal. I have the Bronze Medal because we got... All the ones on the lower floor here. Oops. Hell done. I'll go get those again. But yeah, our creature collection's doing pretty good so far. Um, I mean, there's still a few to collect, obviously, but if we do all the content in the game, we should be able to collect all of them. So, And speaking of which, we've still got quite a bit of Origins content left to do, alongside all of the other stuff we have to do in uh, Living Dead Party. So, the focus of the next episode of Rayman Legends, the stream edition, will be on getting done with the Origins stuff. But we'll take a break, probably about every eight levels or so, if possible. And we will um, come back to Living Dead Party and we'll do some more of those levels. So we'll just kind of grind it all out. I'm saying it as grind. It's not, that's not really a 
effective way of describing it because it's not really a grind. It's, there's new content, so that I wouldn't consider that to be a grind. Assassin Ray? Yeah, it's going to be kind of difficult for him to be an Assassin's Creed protagonist to see. Does he have, like... Yeah, I guess that's kind of the Assassin's Creed hood, isn't it? But, yeah, I, I suppose it's going to be a little bit difficult for him to do that if the hood doesn't fit over his head now, does it? <laughs> um, I don't know, do we get Classic Rayman for this one, or do we try to, like, find a different... I mean, I could get him a helmet, it might help him a little bit. <laughs> Keep his head protected. And you think about it, the man's already lost his arms and his legs. We don't want him to lose his head, too. So, we'll grab him a helmet. Why not? Just for the hell of it. What did it actually? I should have checked what it said for Sir Ray a lot before I took him. So let's go uh, read it real quick. Hold on. There we go. This limbless knight is a mysterious hero who never takes his helmet off. Some say his head is actually stuck inside it. Well, that doesn't seem very OSHA friendly, but sure, why not? At least we know his head will be protected to some degree as we continue in our adventure in Back to Origins in order to uh, finish out all the teensies here. What do we got left? 202 would put us at six. Okay, so if we got every single teensy in Back to Origins at this point, we would be at 666 teensies. Something tells me that's not going to happen because we already missed one, and that's only going to happen a few more times as we go. But, I mean, like, let's take a look over here. How many did we miss total over here again? What was it? Like, 4, 8, 11, uh, 16, 19 total? Excuse me. So if we miss, like, 20 over here, that'll put us at, uh, yeah, about 660 for the whole playthrough, which I would be satisfied with, to be honest. That seems like a pretty good chunk. That's a solid percentage of 700. So we'll see how that all goes on the next episode of Rayman Legends, the stream edition, which will be happening tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream. And I'll see all of you on the next one, which, as I said, will be tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Until then, everybody, take care and have a good one. I can't direct it down, unfortunately. I was going to try to direct it down. You can direct it up in a different direction while you're winding it up, but if you hold down, he just sort of swings and then ducks. So that's just great. You can slide, though, while I'm at it, because why not? Get the slide going. Sorry. As I said previously, I'm easily amused by a lot of this stuff. It just... I think it's the burst of speed that gets me, honestly, because you can just do this, and then all of a sudden he's just back at full speed again. I don't know why that happens, but I'll take it. Oh, yeah. And it's not Mystica Peak, like I've been saying. I thought it was Mystica Peak, but it's Mystical Peak. Okay, I was about to jump up and turn off the stream, but one, I wasn't going to get there in time to turn it off before the screen came back on. And two, there you go. Now we know. Mystical Peak.